What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3 jailbreak. The KinLab team who have demoed a jailbreak just a few days ago for the iOS 12.2 and lower have posted some of their research and it's actually quite good on the uh, components they've used for their jailbreak. You know the pointer authentication codes bypass and stuff like that and they actually posted the presentation they've had at the uh, conference at the infiltrate con and it's actually quite good. So Marco Grassi who was part of the conference said quote slice for me and Lion Chen talk at infiltrate con 2019. Two pack to Furious envisioning an iOS company in 2019. And this is basically a Keynote presentation in here that you can actually browse and see exactly the content and it's exactly the presentation they had at the conference. So if you're interested in iOS security this is actually pretty good. It does explain very well the components that they attack in their jailbreak which has been demoed in this video in here. As you can see it also works for the uh, A12 devices that being the iPhone XS Max 10R and 10S and of course it works on iOS 12.2 and lower. So you can see that is there jailbreak in here. Just to be clear the jailbreak hasn't been released and probably they're never going to release that as I mentioned in my other video about this but they released part of the research which is actually quite good in my opinion because they were not obligated to do so so they could have kept it all secret. However, they did release this in here and it does contain quite a lot of important information and uh, it does talk about the ARM v8.3 pointer authentication which is the PAC and that is going to be a pretty good problem especially on the A12 devices and newer since the A12 devices do use the ARM v8.3 and the pointer authentication codes are a problem for jailbreakers on those devices and probably will be a problem on the newer devices that Apple is going to release this year. They go to talk about the PAC on iOS 12, the possible attacks on PAC and when PAC is combined with APRR, another security mitigation by Apple and then they go to talk about the baseband. This is something that is not usually talked about and it's actually quite seldom that you see exploits for the baseband. I remember the Google Project Zero talking about some baseband related stuff like in 2018 but it's not as often talked as the kernel and so on. One. but they do talk about it in here and they do talk about possible vulnerabilities and things that you can exploit on the basement. So this is actually very useful for the jailbreakers because this research does provide a good insight on what is the uh, pointer authentication codes on ARM v8.3, what are the design flaws, what are the um, possible vulnerabilities that you can exploit, what has been exploited before in iOS 12 and so on. So a lot of things that are related to the ARM v8.3 which is definitely used at this moment in the A12 devices and probably the PAC or PAC will continue to be used in the newer devices by Apple is actually quite a good thing to know and of course the exploit. Now it says here how PAC is used on iOS 12. It does give you a lot of details about the way it's initialized, about the way it protects against you know your casual shenanigans like ROP or return oriented programming and job jump oriented programming which are exploit techniques that have been used before in iOS exploitation. These are not the only techniques available but they are definitely important and of course they have been used before. So PAC is basically a protection against those and they talk about the possible attacks in here which is actually quite good. So yeah there are a lot of things in here that you can learn and uh, the demo they made basically shows how important this research is because they managed to create a jailbreak that works fully on the iPhone XS Max on the latest iOS 12.2. Now they did not provide any information about the exploit that they've had but um, you know the kernel exploit but they do provide some information about the uh, vectors they used for example attacking the basement and this is actually interesting as I said this has been done before the basement has been the subject of exploitation before on iOS but it's not that often so um, it may still have important components that are vulnerable and may provide a good insight for the jailbreak community. Anyways they do provide as I said in here quite a lot of information that might be very useful for a possible jailbreak in the future especially on these new devices and then of course they also provide some uh, guesses for the future on what they think Apple will do. So yeah this is actually a very very good research I'm glad they posted the uh, slides because it's often they don't post the, uh, the slides from their conference 
and the slides do provide a lot of important things since PAC is actually quite new in the uh, jailbreak community. It's only been introduced with the A12 devices, that is the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR, so it's relatively new and less known. And of course being able to understand how it works and how it's being initialized and what can go wrong is definitely important for a future jailbreak. Anyways, if you want to check out their slides, they're available in the description down below. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.